So for today's video, I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks on how to take better photos at night. I love the freedom about being able to create basically anything as a photographer, but when it comes to taking photos in low light, things can definitely get technical, but don't let that scare you. I'm here to help, I hope. And I'm actually gonna be working with Nikon for this video, which is so crazy to me because I've been shooting with their gear since I started photography about five years ago. I'm not worthy. So they sent over the 58mm 1.4 and their Nikon DA50 camera body, paired the two together. Mind blown. But the DA50 is a 45.7 megapixel camera and has the capability of shooting 4K Ultra HD video at 24 or 30 frames per second. And it's also crazy good in low light. Now, my number one tip for taking photos on your DSLR, and not just photos at night, is shooting in RAW. Shooting in RAW allows your camera sensor to pick up all your images data in an uncompressed and unprocessed way. So that when it comes to the edit, you've preserved all this detail that now you can play around with without destructing your image. Something you will want to keep in mind though is that RAW files take up way more space than any other format, so you'll want to pick up a external hard drive of some sort so you don't kill your computer. Now whether you're going for a long exposure on your tripod or just, you know, a regular old night photo, you'll need a light source or some already existing light wherever you are to take advantage of to avoid the high ISO. But yeah, something to light up your subject will avoid potential grain later in the edit. For me, I love using an iPhone flashlight paired with a CD, some glow sticks, or just a random light up book that I have lying around my house. <laughs> Neon signs are one of my favorites to experiment with photos I have this one right behind me but a neon signs coloring paired with shooting in raw will allow you to play with those hues on your subject in the edit without destructing your file Moving on to long exposures, first of all, you're just going to want to make sure whoever you're shooting is staying really, really still. Don't move. But photographing passing cars, a sparkler's trail, or even just your iPhone flashlight again will all work just great. Usually I aim for a 2-4 to four second exposure and then adjust my ISO thereafter, but long exposures are all about experimenting. I mean, photography is all about experimenting, so do what fits you best. Yes! Okay, stay still, Taylor. Okay, I have to keep pressing this. So another helpful tip for focusing your subject at night is an assistant illuminator. And if your camera has it, it'll be in your custom setting menu. This will help by casting a light on your subject before your shutter goes off to assure that whatever you're shooting is in focus. And lastly, if you're taking photos just around your city, bring a friend, stay safe. All right, I hope you guys liked this little how-to video. I have a whole other how to create rainbows in your photos video. I'll link that down below for you guys. But if you're enjoying my more frequent uploads, throw this a like and I'll continue. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.